Hi, this is Paulo from the MB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Dope BIP by Dove Elements. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation using Vital. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And also, if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so here I have an initial is vital, and this is the first sound we're going to be making. Very simple patch. The first thing we need to do is to set up our oscillator. So we're going to load the basic shapes wavetable here in vital. You can find it in factory, basic shapes. You should get only a sine wave. Then we're going to turn on the noise and we're going to filter this noise using filter number two, routing the sampler through it and then changing the filter into a bandpass like this. And then adjusting the cutoff depending on how we want this noise to be. In this case, I'm going to leave it around 5K, 4.6K, something like that. If you don't see this in Hertz, you can go to Advanced and here in Display, you can change its frequency units to Hertz. So going back to the tutorial, now we need to map LFO number one into the level of the noise. So we're going to bring this knob all the way down. And now we're going to increase the modulation amount and change the rate or frequency of the LFO. Something like that. We can also add some attack and a bit of release to get rid of the clicks. Don't do too much because then you'll have a longer tail. This should be enough. And now let's go into the effects tab and we're going to turn on the chorus. Now we're going to change the filter of the chorus to only affect the noise. Like that. We're going to bring the voices down. We're going to increase the spread, bring the mix down. Just like that. Next, we're going to turn on the compressor, but we're just going to use it in the single band mode. And this is essentially just to add gain. So let's bring this band knob down and let's remove any compression from here. There you go. You can also add gain here. But in this case, I did it with a compressor. Next, we're going to add some distortion. And this is just to add extra harmonics in our sound. If you click here, you will get a frequency spectrum view. And here you can see the harmonics added by the distortion. It sounds much more powerful. So we're going to leave it like that. You can always just get super crazy with the drive. And you know the trick, layering a high pitch layer. Maybe another side wave. Once again, even more. <laughs> there you go. Let's bring it down. And then map an LFO into the level. There you go. I'm just showing you ways in which you can experiment. Now, going back into our sound. <laughs> We want to have a texture like this. We're going to turn on the reverb, but <laughs> don't panic. We're not going to add reverb on this sub. We're going to cut the reverb here and leave it only to affect the highs. We're also going to bring the mix and the time down. Just like that. And now let's jump into a bit of post processing. Now the post processing of this sound is very simple. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to add some EQ and we're going to boost harmonics that we like. For example, that one or that one. I really like this texture right here. Let's try to play with the track. Let's go back into other harmonics. I like that. Very cool. And also we're going to add some width into the noise. And we're going to do that once again with another EQ. 
but we're gonna hit control G to group this and we're gonna create two chains one chain that has only mono information which will be the sub and one that has a stereo information which is gonna be or noise so let's just rename this and call it mono control E to duplicate it and call it stereo now in here we're going to change our EQs into mid side mode and here on the mono chain we're going to low pass everything that we want to be mono and remove everything by using a high pass from the sides so now we just have a clean mono sub next we're going to go into the stereo and here we are going to once again repeat the process but we're going to cut all the sub from the mono and we're just going to leave that very clean noise and as you can notice there is a bit of sub information on the sides which is going to make our track not clean enough so let's just cut that from it there you go and now we can just color the noise however we want we can color each signal differently meaning the mono and the sides and we can add some stereo effects before this EQing. For example, we can add some reverb before this and just make it have a tail. Now, if we mix this with our mono signal, now our noise is much wider. So now, now let's jump into the next bass, which is this one. Okay, so here I have another initialized patch. And now we're gonna set up our oscillator. So we're gonna load a sine wave in oscillator one. And then on oscillator two, we're gonna repeat the same process, but we're gonna pitch oscillator two 28 semitones above. Why? Because that is a harmony of the first oscillator, which will be one octave, two octaves up, and then four semitones, which will be if I'm not mistaken, a major third. So if we play this, it's the same as if we were playing a low F, going two octaves up, and then four semitones. So now, that's what we have. And so here, we have the same thing. Now we're gonna add some white noise. And we're going to be playing with the levels of everything. So let's bring the level here of the noise down. And I'll have LFO number one to modulate the level of the noise. Just like that. And now let's change the frequency of this oscillator. Let's make it eight notes, but dotted. So we have that to 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 type of movement. Next, we're going to bring the level of oscillator two down and map this LFO into a level. Next, we're going to route oscillator one through filter one and two, and do the same with the sampler. We're going to send oscillator 2 directly into the effects and now we're going to use filter 1 and 2 to distort oscillator 1 and the noise together. So we're going to change this filter into a high pass, bring it all the way down, bring the key all the way down and the only thing we want from here is to use the drive knob. Now you can always change the mode of distortion here by changing the filter that you use. In this case, we're going to keep it with analog. And now we're going to filter this with a band pass. Just to add that extra texture into the noise. Just like that. And next we're going to go into the effects and here in the effects we're going to add distortion 
boost the drive. We're gonna turn on the chorus. Bring it down. Bring the spread down. Boost the cutoff. And bring the mix down. Next, we're gonna add some reverb. And once again, we're gonna cut everything on the lows. Bring the time down. And we're going to bring the mix down a little bit. There you go. Now, it's very important for this sound to have a one semitone pitch bend. So we're gonna change the pitch bend range here to just one. So now we can play with this pitch bend wheel. Just like that. So we're going to automate this movement in the DAW, like this. And now for some pulse processing, we're gonna keep the same principles as the noise hit. We're going to add an EQ to boost or reduce different harmonics that we like to be present in the sound. In this case, I boosted sub and I added some harmonics around 260 and 4000, which will be some key spots to accentuate the noise and some of the upper harmonics of the bass. Then we're gonna use the same rack, which has the mono information in one and the stereo in another one with some reverb and coloration. And so now if we play all of this together, And now you can make this sound more of your own by revisiting Vital and then mapping LFO 1 to something, for example, like the global amplitude. So you have more control over the overall shape of the sound and then change this to something more tight. Like, like that and maybe put it one octave up. Add some voices, change the waveform. And maybe play a little more with the distortion. That's very cool. Let's try to change it to something like Signfold. very cool I like that and as you can see you have many possibilities to change the sound and maybe create new tracks with this this one is very cool I may save this one just to make one track like that right so uh, that is going to be it for this sounds and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to know me send you for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. You also have access to making your own sound design request and you gain priority. So we may choose to make your sound. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.